In the previous video, we looked at tunneling IPv6 traffic over an IPv4 enabled SD-WAN fabric overlay. In this video, we will extend the same to complete IPv6. That is, utilize an IPv6 underlay to connect to the controllers as well as establish IPsec tunnels between the edge devices. Attached is the topology we will use for this demo. We have an existing network of two edge devices connected via an IPv4 transport, providing connectivity to the controller components as well as providing data plane IPsec connectivity between them. So first, we will configure our controllers for dual stack. That is, the interfaces will be configured with both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. We will then add a secondary IPv6 only internet transport and connect the second interface of our ST1 devices to it and establish both the control plane and data plane connectivity between them. We will then bring down the IPv4 transport and ensure that we still have our connectivity to the controllers and also between the sites only over IPv6. So let's begin. Let's go to network. Let's go to our controllers. I've already configured my controllers for IPv6 address. So here's the vManage, which is already configured for the IPv6 address. It's configured for colon colon A. Similarly, let's check for vSmart. Let's configure it with colon colon C as the IPv6 address. And let's go to vBond. And here also I have configured the IPv6 address. So all the controllers are being configured for dual stack. So let's go and check our edge device. So edge device is only being configured for IPv4 address. So let's go and check our control connections. And you can see that the control connections are formed over IPv4 addresses. Similarly, let's check for the data plane connections. And you can see that the data plane connection is also formed over an IPv4 address. Let's go to templates. Uh, let's go to feature templates and add our second interface template. So I'll choose the VPN interface template. Make all this CSR GI2 template. Let's make it no shutdown. So we're not going to configure IPv4. We're going to configure only IPv6. So let's make it device specific and give it a friendly name. Let's switch on the tunnel interface. Let's change the color to public internet. And uh, let me just change the control connections to one. In the lab, I have only one control, just one vSmart. I think we are okay. Let's save it. Let's go back to our device template and now add a new feature template that we created. So let me click edit. Let me go to the transport interface. Let me go and add the interface template and choose the template we just created. So we need to provide our IPv6 addresses. So we'll provide the WAN IP addresses, uh, the GI3 IP addresses of the LAN IP addresses, which we used in our previous video. 2002 colon 2001 colon colon 2. And for the second, Just make it two zero two colon zero colon zero zero two. 
let's check our configuration. So you can see that the second interface configured for tunnel interface. And here's the IPv6 address. So let's go ahead and click configure. And the configurations have been pushed. So let's go back to our template. Let's go to feature template and add an IPv6 route to the template. So let's edit the VPN0 template. Let's go to IPv6 route and let's add our default route. Let me add the next hop. We make it device specific with a friendly name. Let's update the template. Let's pass on the necessary values. So this will be colon colon one. And this again will be colon colon one. Let's click update. And let's click configure devices. So let's go to network and let's go to our edge. And now quickly see our control connections. And now you can see that the control connections have been formed on both IPv4 and IPv6 address. So let's quickly check on the second device as well. And here also you can see that the control connections have been formed on both IPv4 and IPv6. Let's quickly check our data plane connections. Now you have data plane connections on both IPv4 and IPv6. So let's go back to our topology and I'm going to bring down the IPv4 on the internet. Let's go back to our dashboard and refresh. And now you can see that the data plane connections are only on IPv6. Let's quickly check our control connections as well. The control connections for both vManage and vSmart are on IPv6. So let's connect to the Ubuntu machines connected to our edge devices. You can see that it's configured for both IPv4 and IPv6. Let's check the connectivity to the host connected to the second edge device. Let's ping its IPv4 address first. And we have successful connectivity. Let's try to ping the IPv6 address of that host. And we have successful connectivity for IPv6 as well. Thus, it really doesn't matter whether you have an IPv4, IPv6, or a mix of both in the underlay. Cisco SD-WAN helps you build a secure overlay that provides connectivity for both IPv4 and IPv6 hosts. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.